I'm Chuck Sherrill. I'm the State Librarian and Archivist for the State of Tennessee. We have what I think is a fascinating collection because it combines uh, state records as well as private manuscripts along with the largest book collection about Tennessee and things related to Tennessee found anywhere. Because we're a combined library and archives, unlike many states which keep them separate, we're kind of one-stop shopping for the researcher. Yeah, the old building, which opened in 1953, was naturally state-of-the-art for the time period. Our building was not the oldest state library and archives in the country, but it was the oldest that had not undergone a major renovation or expansion. For storage, we had exceeded our capacity to, to house the collections that were under our care. And we had our storage on eight floors of a, of a stack building that was very tight. It was hard for patrons to really actively request items uh, because in the catalog, the location would say something like governor's papers, but it didn't say what floor it was on, what shelf range. So you had to have staff that were very well trained and knew where things are. It was very dependent upon institutional knowledge. To be able to, to take what we had and move to where we are now is such a huge step forward that our heads are reeling a little bit with it, but we're excited now to be the newest state library and archives and the only one that is using a uh, robotic retrieval system. The physical part of moving was a really daunting thing to, for our team to think about. The first step in moving a collection of this size, how do we make sure that everything gets here safely? Iron Mountain really helped us think through that process. We knew that they would have professional librarians and people with archival experience on the staff as part of the team who were helping us plan for this move. So somebody would from, from that team would point to a, a file cabinet that had a bunch of stuff stacked on top of it. And they're like, well, what's that? And how are we gonna move that? And we're like, well, we've been ignoring that for the last 27 years. Um, but I guess we are gonna have to think about it and figure out how, how it can be moved. And Iron Mountain never said, oh, you've got a problem here, you need to deal with it. They always said, well, let us help you strategize and figure this out. We spent lots of time planning mapping out the floors of our collection and what was going to go where. For example, we need to know exactly what's going to the reading room, which items are appropriate for the automated storage and retrieval system, which items may be too fragile and need to be uh, in one of our vaults. We needed to bounce ideas off of people that had done something like this before, but also people that understood the uniqueness of the collections. And the way that they handled the materials was how anyone on our staff would handle them. Secretary of State Trey Hargett really embraced this project to help make sure that it happened and made sure that people understood why we needed the building and how important it is to preserve the history of the state. We get to open up uh, the collections and we're going to start offering new services and kind of the sky's the limit. We were able to upgrade the facilities with technology as well as additional space. We have a full digitization team that runs reformatting. We have a team of archivists who spend the bulk of their time processing collections and cataloging and getting them ready for the public. Here, people who are looking at microfilm or dealing with manuscripts have the whole book collection right at their fingertips so they can work back and forth between them. One of the new things unique to this building is our automated storage and retrieval system, the ASRS. And in here we have three robotic cranes. Uh, we have never dealt with a huge three-story robot before. <laughs> the staff that works for me, we have degrees in history or library science. None of us are robotics experts. Some of us have become robotics experts. If you're a patron and you are looking through the catalog online, they simply can hit a request button. That will send a message to this room where you will have an archivist and or a librarian on duty. Once they approve the request, that sends an automated message to the crane. The crane will then go and pull the shelving unit, bring it back to the station. You use the barcode scanner to scan it out. You send it down to the reading room. 
and that delivers the box right behind the public services desk and can be in, in the hands of a patron, we estimate somewhere between eight and 12 minutes. It was really good to see the kind of cooperation that evolved from having this huge project, this common goal for all of us. We like to say we preserve and tell the stories of Tennesseans. Having this new spot on Bicentennial Mall is going to allow us to open up our doors to new user groups that we've never had before. This building shows that we do value and honor our state's history. And that's what's so special about us. Every bit of information that we have, I think, tells a story.